This review is quite interesting to me as this mod came completely out of left field. It took everyone's surprise that Skids, the mod it's based off, was not only getting a masterpiece figure, but a new mainline toy as well. Of course, new modes means repaints, meaning more money for hashtag, meaning more physical representation of underused characters from Transformers' illustrious history. Case in point, Senator Crosscut. If it wasn't enough of a surprise, this mode is not animation accurate. It's weird as he was released when the car was knee deep in debt. Possible reasons for this are his old mode, the car that he transformed into was celebrating its 40th anniversary and so Honda most likely stipulated in the contract that the car must be detailed, causing a clash in style. And the Sunbow animation model being absolute garbage. A simple look at it would explain everything. Whatever the answer, I like this change. The added greebles make this figure blend in with the 2010s era masterpiece figures, as seen here, but with the good aspects of newer releases like better articulation. Almost. I'll get to that later. It still has QC problems like loose leg joints as you can see, but it can hold its poses like I already showed you, so it isn't that bad. However, QC is different for every copy, so make sure you can refund if possible. My thing is the biggest improvement from the animation model, apart from the arms because that's self-explanatory, but the legs. It's nice that these bits over here on the legs were painted, as well as the front and part of the knee joints being black plastic to make it less plain. Just look at the animation, and then you look at this, and I feel like it's a no-brainer personally speaking. The back is also very clean due to its transformation. The same could not be said on the more animation accurate stuff like this. Accessories he gets are mostly firearms, even though he is a key figure in peaceful negotiations with other species. But don't worry, they are only for defense as these guns can't kill, only incapacitate. Like Batman. He also has a drone called Clutch, a motor compo scooter that I unironically want to own. This guy also has the grim job of sending all of Crosscut's information to the Autobots, signaling he has either been captured or killed. What a job. Well, let's just move on to articulation. 360 head rotation that might be a bit difficult to access due to the this bit over here and can also look up a bit weirdly and a bit downwards. Doors move back to allow arm rotation, it also goes out this much, elbow swivel, bend, opening hands, with separate index figure and hand rotation. Waist swivel, thigh rotation, a 90 degree knee bend, ankle pivot with some slight up and down movement and good spread however these legs can't move back at all reason for this is it might be a bit hard to see but this edge right over here is sh sharp and it's preventing the leg from moving as it's catching on the this tab no under this bit right over here I'm not mad, just confused as the front part of this is actually curved just enough to allow the legs to move up and move up a lot, they do. Other than that, posability of this figure is almost perfect, allowing dynamic poses. But personally speaking, cannot rival the satisfaction that is his transformation.
While it may not look like it on camera, this was a breath of fresh air for many after the onslaught of overcomplicated but dull conversions that made the core function, transformation, merely a chore you have to do. With the arms being the only troublesome part due to having to align them in the correct position. However, it gives us a vehicle mode that is reminiscent of Alternator slash Binotech and its sequel line, Alternity, with a high focus on the car due to licensing, openable doors, and having engine details. This sells the whole robots in disguise shtick, but with none of the compromises of MP44 and 45. Because for some weird ass reason, MP45 needs you to do a lot of stuff just to open the damn doors. You can just kind of do this, and there you go. You can even store most of the accessories in the boot. So all you do is just fold this rifle up into this state right here, and then using this tab, plug it in right here. Till you get this. And then in the boot, on this side here, there is a tab. And then just place, just use, you put this tab right there. There you go. And there you go. This leaves us enough space for the scooter. Of course, after you fold everything, compact it, like so you get this. And then simply place like that. And now you're ready for a family trip, I think. The remaining gun doesn't have a concrete place, but you can dismantle it and then try and store it in the interior right here. And there you go. Overall, you get a lot for the price you pay as this very articulated, detailed transformer with a good amount of accessories is the cheapest compared to its peers. Because of this, I recommend that you try and get him or one of the other versions new as that will minimize your chances of getting problems. And with that, thanks for watching. Next video is on his bodyguard and so see you next time.